What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Final Fantasy 14 and I did not continue any. We're just gonna pick up right where we were. We need to speak to Rauban, the Hall of Flames. Good old Rauban. Then I will progress. It's kind of odd. So right now, I know, we, we there's been a lot of videos with this chill t-shirt on. Uh, my mom got this when she was on vacation. I forget where she was. I think this was from, um, where, where, where was she? I think this was from, I'm trying to think. This wasn't Grand Can I don't know. She goes on a bunch of vacations because she dives. She's a, she scuba dives. And so she gets me t-shirts from everywhere. It's got a blowfish on the back. It says stress blows, but it says chill on the front. But there's been a bunch of episodes with this on. Um, but the main point that I was trying to make real quick here is that, um, is that, what was I, the main point I was trying to make is that I am at a standpoint with all of my different series. I need to grind those through, but, uh, all right, Raubon, I've been waiting for you, Regaza. I trust you are fully recovered. Good, because there is much work to be done. Work that I would have you do. All right. Hope I can handle it. Listen well, Rigaza. This will take some time to explain. Oh, good. Raubon means to entrust you with a task of the utmost import. Of the utmost import? The utmost importance. Let me autocorrect for them. That doesn't even make sense even if you... Let me shut up because I think we got some dialogue. Oh, nope. I've prepared these letters for my counterparts in the Yorzian Alliance. Five years ago, we looked on powerless as our brothers and sisters were taken from us at Cartano. Or Cartano? First by the Garleans, and then by the thrice damned primal called forth by their treachery. Not a good day, or not a day. <laughs> wow. Not a day goes by that I do not think of my fallen comrades, and of the warriors of light of whom no trace remained. The tragedies of the Calamity are not so easily forgotten, nor should they be, and remembering all we've lost, we're reminded of what we shall have. And so I mean to mark the fifth anniversary of the Battle of Kartana with a memorial service honoring the Fallen. It is my hope that my counterparts in the Alliance will agree to do the same. And I would have you bear my words to them as my personal envoy. Why you? Because your deeds mark you out as the nearest thing to a warrior of light. I can think of none more worthy of the role. The question is, will you accept it? I don't think... I don't think I can decline it. Then it is agreed. You will journey to Gridania and Limsa Lomin Lominsa? Limsa Lominsa as my official representative. Now that's a great... Um, Many mel malms to travel, great many malms to travel, but I've neither the time nor patience to wait around while you do it on foot. Oh, it's choke up oh time. I hereby grant you permission to you oh to use the airship routes connecting the three city states. The past serves as proof of your privilege. Gone are the days when airship travel was available to all. The ever-present threat of Imperial attack has forced us to impose drastic restrictions out of concern for public safety. These passes are only granted when circumstances demands it, as in this case. Though there were others who insisted you be granted one regardless. Hey, Regaza, I'm not alone in seeing it. Your potential is plain. But I have said enough. In the name of the Sultana, I bid you go forth. See for yourself the wonders of the realm for which the Warriors of Life risked all. Rise to your calling and fulfill your promise. And should your path be barred by man or beast, strike fast and true, for victory belongs to the bold. Now go, Riaza, and heed the crystal's guidance should you ever lose your way. Alright, we got the keys to the airship. Not the keys, but we essentially the keys where do we need to go uh, um okay we need to go to central thanalan no wait, wait 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 we need to go here let me get that sprint on hopefully i go to the right area i always go to the wrong area and it's always sadly tragic but hopefully 
hopefully, I'll do it right this time. Wait, where? Okay. All right, Mamodi. Ah, back from your meeting with Raubon, are you? What did the big man have to say? Is that a fact? Personal envoy of the Flame General himself. So you'll be bearing the great man's words to the leaders of the Alliance, will you? And by airship, bugger me, that's an honor and a half, that is. But I can't think of anyone who deserves it more. I'm proud of you, Urgaz, I truly am. Now, I dare say Raubon told you this, but not many people get to go on airships these days. In fact, most folk go to their graves having never once seen Eorzea from above. Poor buggers shuffle off to meet Thal having never known the blues of Limsa Lomi Lominsa's Shimmerin' Seas or the myriad greens of the leafy Gridania. But not you, Regazza. You'll see those sights and more, and everywhere you go, you'll find fascinating folk with fascinating tales to tell. The people you meet, the places you go, savor those experiences, for they are priceless all. Saying that, it'd be remiss of me if I didn't remind you to be careful out there. Ulda ain't the only place beset by troubles, as you'll discover when you visit Limsa and Gridania. Truth be told, that might well be exactly what the general wants you to realize. I think he knows what kind of woman you are, Ragaza, and what kinds that you ask. Why the kind that can't resist sticking her nose in other people's business, of course, and don't you ever go changing. Safe travels, Ragaza. I'll see you when you get back. Okay, so we need to find the airship now. Speak with Eli Eleanor. At the airship landing. So we need to head to central Thanalan for that. Alright. To central Thanalan. So if we only found two different areas, we've been to Ulda, Thanalan, and now we're going to go to either Gradania or... The, the, the place that rhymes that I always forget what it's called. Imsa Laminsa. Where is it wanting me to go here? I need to speak with Eleanor. Um... Ba, ba, ba. Where is it in Central Thanalan? I literally don't see where I'm supposed to go. Well, this is great. I don't know where to go. See, it's in Central Thanalan here, but I just don't see it. Is it in northern Thanalan? No, it's in central. I mean, that narrows it down. I mean, there's not too many spots where it can be. I mean, it's got to be the airship landing, so it's got to be a bigger place. I guess I'm gonna go here first. I'm gonna go to Blackbrush Station. Because I see evacuation sites, dispatch yards, gates, four sisters. I don't really see where I'm supposed to go. So, 
Let me kill one. Oh, that giant tortoise is not high enough level. I want to find one of the level 50 enemies because I think they'd be a challenge, maybe. And I think it'd be fun. Um. Oh, boy. Where on earth... It wants me to meet him at... Wants me to meet him at... The airship landing, but I don't see the airship landing anywhere. Is it the Royal Starway? Because I, I literally do not see where to go. Because everywhere I click off, it tells me to go back to Central Thanalan. But the crazy thing is, is I just don't see where... Oh, here we go. Oh, what the? Where is that? Hold on. Okay. Okay, I get it. Okay. It's not in Central Thanalan. Need to... How do I travel back? Free destination? I travel? I can't, really, I can't travel back from this point? Okay! I guess we're running. Oh, here we go. Olden steps. This is what I need to do. Well, that was my bad. That's confusing. I don't like how they did that, because it's like telling you, oh, you need to go to Central Thanalan, but that's not actually where you need to go. You need to go up steps and... Okay. So I need to... Whoa. I think it's over this way. I might be wrong, but I think it's over... I think it's up this way. I'm hoping it's up this way. Does it happen to be... Yeah, airship landing. Nice. Okay, well, we found it. It's alright. Took us a little bit of time, but... Uh, we found it. That's all that really matters is we found it. I'm gonna turn... Oops. Turn that a little bit right there. It's a little bit off. All right, Eleonora. Greetings, madam. This is my, the reservation counter for passengers traveling to Limsa Lominsa. I'm not mistaken. You are the Flame General's envoy, Ragaza Maganera. Yes. High Wind Skyways is at your service. Will you be flying with us today? Yes. Time to take a flight. To Limsa Lominsa. Alright, here we go. This is gonna be sweet. I'm pumped for this. Attention all passengers, the airship bound for Limsa Lominsa is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. Yes, the fun. I love this song. Ah, 
I love Final Fantasy 15. I know I know people didn't love it. I love the ending of Final Fantasy 15. I'm always a sucker for that type of stuff. I love the ending of Final Fantasy 15. That game is like in it's like emerged into the top of my when first we met beneath the Sultan tree, I sensed there was something unusual about her. I wonder if they will feel the same. Godspeed, Ragaza. Godspeed. If I'm right, they'll be singing your praises from here to far reach before long. May you always walk in the light of the crystal. But yeah, that game's like in my top 10. I know it sounds really dumb that it's actually in my top 10 because I don't know, I liked it as a game, I loved it as a game, but I don't know, it's a weird game to make the top 10. But it's up there, it's in the top 10 with Dark Souls and Witcher and... It depends on how you label Witcher and Dark Souls. If you wanna split those into three games or whatever, it kinda changes things around. In 15 years, but the bitter taste of defeat lingers still. 15 years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Agrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till Lake lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so we believe. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day, at the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the Dread Serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her so ended our glorious Conquest. That is a bad ass dragon. That thing is sick. That dragon is nuts. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now, it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are out of one mind, Lord Van Balzar. Is that me? No. What is that? Senior engineers, please report to Magitech research following scheduled inspection. Why do they slam their foot down? Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey? What hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus' plan. Ah, 
My, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech. We're in we're into the heavy story now. I'm I'm liking this. This and Black Desert are really close right now, but I haven't played this that much, so it can easily go up and it can easily go down. That's kind of where we are. But I think it'll pass Black Desert pretty quickly here. I really like this game. I the, the combat, I, I'm not a huge fan of tab target, I will say that. I, I'm I'm not the biggest tab target guy, but it's not bad in this game. I, I kind of like it. But it, it is going to take some getting used to. Why is the screen still black? Alright, so we need to speak with the Storm Honor Guard. We're at 22 minutes. But the Storm Honor Guard is... I don't know where. We need to... D... We need to get out of here. Hello? Oh, here we go. That's the in, this is the out. Wow, I should... Okay. Ah, you must be the envoy from Ulda. Welcome to Limsa Lominsa, madam. Admiral Blafiswin... Blafiswin? Awaits your arrival. Admiral Blafiswin. What a, what a name. What a name. Storm Honor Guard. You are the Uldan envoy. Welcome to Limsa Lominsa. The Admiral has been looking forward to your arrival. Please proceed to the Crow's Lift at your earliest convenience. It will take you to Bulwark Call. Once there, pray speak with Xanthale. He will be pleased to show you into the Admiral's command room on the bridge. Alright. So we need to go to Bulwark Hall. Proceed to Bulwark Hall. I'll probably talk to the uh, Admiral in this episode, and that will be all. We'll call, it an, we'll call it a day on that. And then hopefully the next time I come back, we'll have some actual combat to do. I, I am going to play ahead because we need to. I need to get moving on this. But um, hopefully we will have some actual combat. Greetings, madam, and welcome to our fair city. If you would permit me to examine the seal on the massive, on, on the missive you carry. There you go. Yes, everything seems to be in order. My apologies. We cannot afford to be complacent, you understand. Please step this way. Into the elevator we go. Enter. Oh, it's this lady. So the silver-tongued merchants send an adventurer to speak for them. It appears the old dance place great faith in you. This way. I bid you welcome. I am Melvi Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa, and Commander of the Maelstrom. Now, what news from Thanalan? We're having a party! We're having a memorial party. Memorial service party. Hmm, a memorial service to honor the fallen.
Seven hells. Has it been five years? Five years since the Garlean Empire sought to wrest Eorzea from our grasp. It was an answer to the imperial threat that the city-states formed the Grand Companies and forged the Eorzean Alliance anew. But Garlemald was not content to wager all on a simple contest of martial might. They had other plans, the Meteor Project. Legatus Nal von Darnus, Hells Take Him, intend to cleanse our realm of snatching the lesser moon, Dalamud, Dalamud, from the heavens and casting it down upon our heads. Desperate to revenge this lunatic scheme, we marched our forces to the Sh Kartanau Flats, and there we met Vlith Imperial Legion in battle. Never have I seen a, b a fight like the Battle of Kartanau, and I have seen full many. But though we gave no quarters, spared not one ounce of effort, we could not prevent what followed. Uh, from inside the shell of Dalumud came a winged nightmare, a dragon the size of a bloody city. Twas the elder primal Bahamut, uh, bent on making an eight hell out of Eorza, Eorzea. In the space of a breath, the legions of the Empire were set aflame, while our own armies fared little better. Twas as if the whole world was burning. Words cannot well describe the scene. And yet, by some miracle, a few among us were spared. Even as I steeled myself for death, a blinding white light enveloped me and robbed me of my senses. When I regained them, the dragon was gone, and the still smoldering land was warped beyond all no knowing. Where Archon Lusso Lugoy? Luoy? Still with us. He would doubtless shed some light on these unfathomable happenings. Uh, for while our nation struggled to recover from the devastation, the beast men called forth their damned primals to torment up. I had my hand like this, and I, ta I accidentally hit the... That's why that skipped the dialogue. Unless we put aside our differences and rebuild them now, our foes will catch us unprepared. And I speak not only of the beast men. Do not imagine that the Empire has forsaken its claim to Eorzea. The, the Imperials crowd our borders, waiting to strike. Damn it all, we need champions to replace those we lost. But such thoughts are worse than worthless. Time is short, and none will save us, save ourselves. It is the duty of every soul who survived the calamity to work together for the good of Eorzea. And this memorial service may be the very thing to unite us. A. Hey, Raubon has the right of it. I accept his proposal. Your duty is done here, adventurer. I will see to it that the Flame General receives my reply. You travel next to Gridania, yes? Pray give me regards to the Elder seed Seedseer. Oh, and tell her the wolf has been sniffing around the stables. A private jest and one in poor taste, but I would have you tell it all the same. Fare you well, Regaza. May the Navigator guide you on your journey. Now I feel like I feel like I gotta go to Gr to Gridania now because that all fits together with this episode. So we gotta go to Gridania before we call it we call it a day. Um, speak with at the airship. All right, lift attendant. Take me to the airship landing. I might sneeze here. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Sneeze. No, I'm good. All right. Yes, greetings, madams. This is the counter. Yes, I want to travel to Gredania. Take me away to Gredania. All right, gangplank. And away we go. Oops. Wow, really? <laughs> really? Oh, that's a face palming moment. That is a face palm and warm, and I was like, oh, time to go to Gridania, and then <laughs> I hit no. That was the, that was the big special. That was the big special right there. Ooh. 
Ooh, we're in Gridania. So this is probably the chick, the other girl, the girl with the staff. This is probably her here in Gridania. That is my guess. Could be completely wrong, but that is my guess. I don't... There was Raubon, that girl, short-haired girl, and then there was long-haired girl, right, with the staff. I think those were the only three. All right. Talk to you. I know you're just going to ask me if I want to leave. So let's leave. So odd that they needed another loading screen there. All right. Serpent Honor Guard. Greetings, good madam. You are the olden envoy, are you not? I have received instructions to assist you. Pray and make your way into the city proper, and I dare yourself to the conjurer at Nofika's altar. She will admit you to the lotus stand where the elder seed seer awaits. Okay, so we need to go out this way, right? Oh, no. Oh, do we go up, I guess? No, not emote. I need to go to Old Gridania. Wow, this is awesome. Look at this area. Wow, this is sick. Let's hit up this Aetherite real quick. So we can come back to good old Gridania. Alright, so... Here we go. Head to old Gridania. Okay, now where are we supposed to go? Nope, nope, nope. We gotta go. Okay, go this way. Um, gotta go this way. Three, two, one, and sprint. Let's see, I gotta cross this bridge, and then we cut back this way. All right, we're almost here. Silent Conjurer. Hello. You are the olden envoy, be begging your pardons, madam, but might I inspect the missive you bear? Yes, you can. Verily, this is the seal of the supreme commander of the immortal flames. Please come with me. All right. Yes, it's long-haired curl with the staff. So you are the Uldan Envoy. On behalf of our fair nation, I bid you welcome. Please. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Khan A. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Flame General. Now, is it going to be weird? Like, yep, a remembrance of service for the fallen, Cart fallen of Cartanau. Pray tell me, adventurer, what do you know of our conflict with the Empire? Enough. It would seem my counterparts recounted the tale in some details. That is well. Are you going to now tell me in more detail about something else? Hmm, a message from the Admiral. A wolf has been sniffing around her stables, you say? I see. Well, I shall be pleased to provide her with such counsel as I am able. But first, friend of my friend, I would tell you more of the Garlean threat. Of course you will. 
<laughs> for the greater part of its history, Garlemald was not even among the most influential nations in Ilsabard, the northern continent. However, its innovations in the field of Magitech some 50 years ago helped to raise it from the depths of obscurity. Emboldened by this technology, it set about subjugating its neighbors, swiftly absorbing each into its ever-expanding territory. And when all of Ilsabard lay within its grasp, it turned its ravenous gaze upon Eorzea. Yet Garlemald's transformation did not come about by virtue of Magitek alone. Its success owed much to the consummate leadership of its first and reigning emperor, Salas Va Sa Galvis, the man who built an empire in his own lifetime. Yet he has lived long, and after more than four score winters, it is said that he grows frail and ever more prone to illness. If rumors are to be believed, the matter of succession has destabilized the imperial court. This would explain the empire's relative inactivity in recent years, which has granted us much needed time to rebuild. Yet we cannot allow ourselves to become complacent, for Garlemald still maintains a presence in Eorzea in the form of 14th Imperial Legion. Commanding this great host is Legatus Gaius von Balzar, a man whose ambitions are well known to us. So long as he breathes Eorzean air, none of us may sleep easy. Calamity wreaked such devastation upon the realm that it has been all we could do to nurse our wounds never mind rebuild our defenses simply put we have not the strength to repel the empire to add to you our woes the base tribes continue to summon their primals whose very existence is a bane upon the land each nation is beset with its own primal problem none has the resources to look beyond its own borders the admiral desires my counsel regarding a brazen wolf. She means to tell me that the Empire may soon resume at its advance. Though the primals pose, pose an undeniable threat to our survival, the threat posed by the Garleans is greater still. Clearly, each nation can no longer afford to think only of that which occurs within its own borders. A storm gathers upon the horizon. If we are to weather it, we must need stand united once more. A remembrance service may help to rekindle the spirit of unity which brought the people of Eorzea together when last the Empire threatened our liberty. The Flame General was wise to make his proposal, wholeheartedly approve of it. Necessary provisions shall be made for a service here in Gridania. Alright. Alright, mission accomplished. They're both in. Oh, she's signing. She's signing. I was like, what is she doing? But she's signing this. She's signing the sheet. This is so awkward because there's like no sound, nothing's happening. I want that staff that this person that my <laughs> that my cam is blocking has. Your work is here is done, my friend. I shall send my reply to the Flame General forthwith. I thank you for coming. May the twelve see you safely home. Okay, I think this is a good spot to call it. We completed the Alden Envoy. You may now make use of the airship routes connecting the three nations before you may board an airship. Okay, that's fine. But uh, I think this is a good place to call it. In the next episode, I have no idea what we're going to be doing. I'm not going to promise anything. We'll figure it out. We'll take it on in the next episode, whatever it is, wherever I get to. And I hope to see you guys then. Peace.